Microsoft and AMD have come together and they fixed the problem affecting uh, reduced Ryzen performance on Windows 11. So if you don't know about the issue, essentially what it was is Ryzen processors uh, have a feature called preferred cores. And there is uh, an individual number uh, assigned to each core on the processor from the factory from AMD. And it signals to Windows uh, which core is the is the best is, is best performing and can turbo the highest, boost the highest with the least amount of um, uh, voltage. Essentially, the strongest core on the CPU. And you can see this on Ryzen CPUs in Ryzen Master. You can see the uh, the core with a little star next to it on each one of the chiplets. And you can see that core two in my system or on my CPU is the strongest. And this wasn't being signaled to Windows properly uh, upon the initial release of Windows 11. And this was causing a problem because uh, Windows was loading the wrong core with uh, the most work. And you essentially were losing out quite a significant amount of performance uh, because of this. And so um, Microsoft and AMD were going to come together and they were going to fix it. And you can see that here... Uh, on Patch Tuesday, they intended to release the fix, and it was meant to fix the problem. And why it may, may have fixed the problem, uh, it also introduced a different problem. You can see here, they were test, uh, Tech Power Up uh, reported testing with their Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, they usually have a L3 cache latency of 10 nanoseconds in Windows 10. Um, and they tested this uh, in Windows uh, 11 upon initial release, and it has 17 nanoseconds of cache latency. And then upon the fix, which Microsoft released, uh, fixed in quotation marks, uh, to fix the preferred cause bug, um, they tested again, and the L3 cache latency was up to 31.9 nanoseconds, which is almost a doubling in the problem it was having before. And this was having a significant performance impact. Uh, so Ryzen uh, processors were performing significantly worse in Windows 11 uh, compared to Windows 10. However, as of two days ago, uh, Microsoft released uh, this patch here for Windows 11, uh, and it fixes all the problems, and Ryzen processors are basically running as fine as they did in Windows 10 now. So if you scroll down here, you can see on the improvements and fixes we have, uh, let's see where it is, addresses an L3 caching issue that might affect performance in some applications on devices that have AMD Ryzen processors. So this fixes the problem, uh, and I was testing it myself. You can see I've got the updated build of Windows 11 here. And you can see that uh, here, this was my performance under Windows 10. You can see my CPU had a 9.2 nanosecond cache latency. I tested again under Windows uh, 11 with this patch applied, and within margin of error, because obviously each time you test you get a slightly different value, it was pretty much bang on 9 nanoseconds. So the problem has been fixed. Uh, so now uh, Windows 11 uh, is receiving the value from the BIOS uh, about what cores should be loaded with the most work. And also the L3 caching issue has been fixed as well, so the latency is the same as it was in Windows 10 now. So Ryzen processors now perform uh, as, as well as they did in Windows 10 as they do in Windows 11 now. So now you can safely install Windows 11 on your Ryzen machine uh, and you can enjoy the nice rounded corners and rounded buttons in Windows 11. So there you go, just thought I'd update you guys so you can install Windows 11 on your Ryzen machine now and you can enjoy Windows 11 along with all the, the fancy new start menu and all that stuff there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.